Hey YouTube, AB Figs here. This is just a quick little video. I just got back from work to the news that WWE Superstar Page will no longer be able to compete <sighs> out of nowhere, really. And it's from something that happened at the end of last year. Um, I'm a, a little bit speechless at the moment. Um, I'll I'll tell you guys pretty much what happened. Uh, I'm not going to show the video here because that I don't want to steal anyone's video, but there uh, someone was recording it live. It was a WWE live event um, last year. Um, Paige had Sasha Banks in the corner of the ring, and then Paige turned her back to Sasha Banks to taunt to the crowd, and then Sasha Banks gave her a drop kick to the back, and. Paige was temporarily paralyzed, I believe. She had no feeling in her hands. People are relating it to the same situation that Edge had back in 2011, which forced him to retire. This is really tragic, and it just shows how how dangerous pro wrestling is and how easy something like that can go wrong. Because, yeah, you can watch the video on YouTube now if you haven't seen it. Um, it was just a basic kick. It's not like Sasha Banks intentionally kicked her or if it was an extra hard kick or anything that's just a regular drop kick from the corner that multiple superstars do and i don't know exactly what happened maybe Paige wasn't ready for it or she got a little bit of whiplash um i know what whiplash feels like and what it can do to your neck i haven't been damaged that badly but i've been close to having an injury like that as well um still in a bit of pain from it um it, yeah it just shows how dangerous pro wrestling is um unfortunately it looks like Paige is not going to be able to return to the ring and it's very sad how she's actually been on raw the past two weeks and she's been competing as usual or, or appearing at least i don't remember if she's had any matches in the past two weeks but we only just find out about it now it's very sad kind of like edge as well um, but I just like to address, um, everyone on social media that's been really angry at Sasha Banks for what happened. Um, I, now I haven't had a chance to watch other people's videos on the situation. I've only read one report and I've seen a bunch of comments and stuff saying, oh, fire Sasha Banks and stuff like that. But you got to understand Sasha Banks didn't mean to do that. And that's not the only re wrestling related injury that's ever happened. A lot of stuff's happened, uh, in WWE, uh, for example, when Darren Drozdov was paralyzed um, permanently from a botched powerbomb from D'Lo Brown, neither of their faults, um, but they uh, slipped on their clothing or something and he landed on his head. Um, similar situation with Paige and Sasha Banks. Like, Sasha Banks didn't mean to do that. Are you kidding me? WWE is her dream job, and she wouldn't put it in jeopardy to intentionally retire someone. Uh, like you guys have, uh, the the people that think that Sasha Banks should be fired, you guys have got to calm down because she didn't mean to do that, and it was a just an accident. If you guys watch the video, you'll see that she didn't mean to do it, and it was just a regular kick. Like it doesn't look like it was any harder than any other kick, but just Paige was uh, affected badly by it. So. That's all today's video is, just very unfortunate news, and to those people that think WWE should fire Sasha Banks, please, please don't overreact like that, because I don't think she should. It was just a little accident, and Sasha Banks will be very saddened by it, and people's comments saying that she should be fired will not be helping, because she will feel as bad, if not worse, for what she did to Paige than how Paige actually feels. So, yeah, that's it for today's video. Um, sorry about the negativity, but I thought I'd get this video out there. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you like what you see and you want to see more videos like this, feel free to check out the video right there. Follow me on all my social media accounts at the bottom of the screen. And most importantly, if you haven't done it already, click here to subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.